everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what is really big and happening now. And what is that? And of course, we're talking about the outbreak, global pandemic, and we have had sports and meets in limbo and competitions all over the country totally suspended and in some cases canceled. Now, what are we gonna do? Because we don't know how long this is gonna last and the way things are looking, more and more people are gonna be probably encouraged or told by the government to stay indoors. One fortunate thing for throwers is that the coronavirus is in massive crowds so unfortunately for us in track and field we don't have massive crowd events and throwers as a whole it's just tends to be a handful of us at a time often out throwing by yourself throwing with a small group and that seems to be a good thing now we've already taken some precautions and we've brought out our soap and water and our bleach water mix and we're wiping down our implements after every training session and throughout the throw and we're assigning our athletes here's your four discs stick with those four, clean them when you're done. We're washing the towels. We're just taking all those extra precautions. Every single athlete in our club program here in Arizona has already opened the season with big PRs and we're super pumped about that. Now, the thing is, what are we gonna do and how are we gonna keep training? For instance, one of my uh, advanced athletes, he's a pro athlete, was opening up, planning to really open a lot of eyes. Training's gone extremely well. And so one of the things we're doing is we gotta keep on our training cycle. So we are gonna start some virtual comps, some virtual meets, and we're gonna have some details coming out about that. Second, one of the things that we've done for years, people see Airtay Throws Nation what it is today, but we've been around now a bunch of years, almost 10 years, and people didn't see us in the beginning when we were throwing off of plywood and a dirt lot next to our tiny gym, throwing into brick walls in the parking garage of the building our little gym was located in, moving to parks. Jason Harrell was fourth at the Olympic trials in 2016, and I want to tell you, he probably did 50% of his training sessions out at the parks in Arizona. We have big parks, eight foot, 10 foot sidewalks, and we can throw out into acres of grass. When we talk about this, drills, plywood, parking lots, parks, that's a really good indicator. So even though we may lose the ability to have those organized practices, what you want to remember is that as long as you can get outside in front of your house or your apartment or wherever you live and you've got a, a, a spot of concrete or you've got the, the tools you need, throwing shoes, maybe some drill bands, uh, implement, and if you can't get out to throw, which most of you are probably going to be able to because it's going to be requiring you to be out by yourself until they say you can't be out at all. So even at that point, I would be out in my driveway doing drills, doing work in my backyard, wherever I can do it. Now, we've even done camps across the country. We were in Florida last year. The grass was fantastic. Something about that grass, nobody slipped and we were able to do drills. We did it at a park in Sydney, Australia. Many of our throws and things off the grass. We'll often throw off of the turf at different camps that we hold because it's a good surface. It's not too slippery. It works. So the point is, is you guys can still get a ton done. Now, the biggest thing that you want to be able to do is knowledge, right? You got to develop your knowledge base, study film, look at videos on YouTube of pros, watch our channel, look at different things, check out our free mini courses. And if you want to dive deep and you've got this hiatus time, jump in to the throwing chain reaction. So we want to just let you know the things we're going to do. We're going to keep training. We have a smaller group. We're going to stagger our group just slightly. So we just wanted to put out a quick video just to remember that developing your knowledge base is super critical. That is the most important thing. The more you can learn about the throw and the more you train movement, the better you can do. So we got a video coming up that's going to talk about that. A lot of stuff for beginners. We've had a, already a ton of experience this year. We did some different things with some different groups and we have the, the rawest, most inexperienced group. This isn't in our club. This is the school we're helping out with this year. It is across the board. The kids don't know how to lift. They don't understand the throw. They're noobs, but they have great enthusiasm. They're willing to work and each week they're learning how, a, how to structure a program. We got that coming up in a video. Okay, so you guys stay safe, healthy. We appreciate you watching. If you've got any comments, things you'd like to see, be sure to comment below and we will see you on the next video.